Hey, good evening everybody. Leroy here again in my, still in my temporary bathroom, still in South Korea. Um, it's Friday night. Um, I get to be going home tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it. I do miss my wife. I do miss my daughters. Um, but um, this is video two, shave two. Like I told you guys, I want to take you guys with me on this journey. I would, you know, do my best not to shave off camera with this Kamasori style shave head, okay? Um, that's the whole point of this channel. It's just to, you know, try to learn with you guys and share my experience with you people, okay? Um, the first video actually, you know, I went back and I watched it and holy shit, all right, man, my angle's all fucked up. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of tips on, on the Facebook group saying, yeah, you know, your angle was a little off and, uh, you know, you came in too flat and stuff like that. And going back, sure shit, it was, it was all messed up. But I would say kind of in my defense, um, going back and watching the Geo Fat Boy video, his angle also seemed a little bit, I guess this would be shallow. Um, so it's one of those things, I guess, is your mileage may vary, whatever works for you, right? So, um, you know, the generosity of the wet, wet shaving community is fantastic. Everybody's willing to help everybody, and that's what I love about this community. So tonight's uh, foray or second attempt, um, the plan of attack is going to be, I'm, I'm going to start with the blade flat against the skin, add my angle, and then and then start shaving. Kind of like, a, I'm going to use next shaves again as an example. You know, he takes his DE, you know, and he... Uh, he he uh, puts a safety bar against the sideburn as the incline and then goes at it, right? So um, we're just going to kind of go along with, with, with that sort of plan of attack. Um, again, guys, uh, the feedback so far has been great. I, I really appreciate it. You know, I just, again, just want to be sharing my, my, my uh, experiences here with you guys. Um, and Chris Madden from Another Cut Above, dude, you... you if you watch this again, you, you, you crack me up, man. <laughs> I mean, you had mentioned something about me being in, in, in shape and stuff, but um, to be honest, it hasn't always been like that. I mean, let me let me just kind of, this is a picture from four years ago, okay? I don't know if you can see that. Um, yes, that that's me. Um, I've, <laughs> this, it kind of goes back to the name of this, my channel, Nomeo. I'm I'm only five foot four. I'm a short guy, vertically challenged. And in this picture, I was almost two hundred pounds. So, it, yeah, at, at that point in my life, I, I was in a point where mentally I just wasn't quite right. I was doing a lot of traveling with work, a lot of drinking, a lot of eating. Um, just. You know, I just wasn't in, in, in the best place at that time. And, um, you know, and I kind of got sick of it. I, I, I just didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I felt. So, you know, I started doing things and, you know, losing weight. Um, I, from this point in this picture, my driver's license picture, I, I started something called Metafast. And I went from, in, I, mean, I think it was three months about? Two, three months, I went from about 200 pounds, 190 to two, 195, 200 pounds, all the way down to about 165 in about three months. Um, and, then, and then that's when I met my future wife. <laughs> so, you know, I was doing better. I felt great, better about myself and stuff like that. And then um, met my future wife. We started going out, dating, you know, how all that stuff goes. I kind of gave up on the metafast thing. The, the metafast thing, it worked. But man, if you've ever done it, it's 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 hard because all of your meals you, you drink them. It, they're shakes and and they really don't taste good. I mean, you're you're almost basically starving yourself. Um, I mean, your calories a day is thirteen hundred, and it's mostly liquid and then a salad at night basically. Um, so after I met my wife, you know, I we got together, we started dating. I started putting a little bit of weight back on. We got married. And I went from 165-ish all the way back up to 180, <laughs> you know, so, so I mean, and then about a year ago, I got tired of it and I said, you know what, I, I actually went to the doctor and got my blood test done for the very first time in my life and cholesterol was high and, you know, there's a lot of, I'm, I'm not one to take medication, I don't 
like it. Um, and statins really have some side effects that I don't agree with. You know, granted, they do bring your cholesterol down, and you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but you know, I, I didn't want to go down that road. So I did something about it, changed my life, you know, and if I can ever figure out how to add pictures to the videos, I'll, I'll put a side by side of what I looked like a year ago to now, and then, you know, we can go from there. But that's not what this, these videos are about, and it's what this channel is about. Um, this channel is about shaving. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Um, Chris, dude, you cracked me up. I just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> All right. Um, once again, guys, cheers. Today was a better day at work. Last day, I'm actually going home tomorrow. I think I mentioned that. Excited. Um, all right. Uh, let's get into the... Oh, well, you know what? I should probably show you what kind of wine I'm drinking. Uh, some cheap shit that I bought at the local market here. Um... It's from Chile. Chile makes pretty good wines, right guys? I mean, my favorite wine is a Molbec. They only come from Argentina. Chile's close. So, well, we'll just go from there. All right, guys. So, um, last shave, I used Sterling Port-au-Prince. Great shave. And you're you're gonna, probably going to call me a liar, but you guys saw I put waist hazel on. I, I put the, the after aftershave on. I put Nivea on. I shit you not, guys. The next morning... I could still smell the Port-au-Prince just a touch, just a tiny, tiny little whiff. After my shower in the morning, it was gone, but guys, I mean, if, if you guys like a long-lasting scent, Port-au-Prince is freaking awesome. I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, but like I said, we are going to be using something different tonight. Um, this is probably my second favorite company, uh, well, or my first vegan favorite company, I should say. Uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Bay Rum. I I never thought I would like a Bay Rum. Um, the, all the descriptions say it's got a clovey scent to it, and I didn't think I would really enjoy clove, but I was watching an episode of I'd Lather Be Shaving. Um, God, Matt and Douglas are freaking hilarious. I, I love their, their shows. But he had mentioned that he does not use clove in his Bay Rum, and I thought, you know what? I should probably give it a shot and I got it and guys holy balls it's it, I don't know I can't explain it it's, it's complex it's great it just uh, I don't know man it, it's, it's a really really great smell great scent um, so without further ado let me get into the shape before this video gets too long again um, uh, yeah and, and um, I want to apologize the last video there was a glitch. I think it was around around minute 34, 33, something like that. Um, and if you notice in the camera, I kept looking down at the screen. I just wanted to make sure it was still recording. So what had happened was it it got to the biggest file size that my phone could handle, and then it just stopped and started a new file. Man, it is what it is, right? Um, when I get good like Paul H, I'll go ahead and I'll stop it and merge them and get all fancy and stuff like that. But you know what? The hell with it right now let's just keep it raw right um <laughs> so all right guys um brush today is a omega synthetic this is the uh, 100065s um it's my one of my travel brushes i i, I use it i'm you know i i just i'm not sold on it but i use it because it dries fast and when i travel you, you need something to dry fit. I don't want it to be sitting on my luggage wet. So I usually use that on the nights before I, I head out um, and I want to get a shave in, especially on these international flights. You know, I, I just, you're, you're, you're talking, gosh, you know, I'll, I'll shave tonight and it'll be like another 24 hours before I can think about shaving again. You know what I mean? Between the flight, travel, sleep, all that stuff. Um, Again, um, Parasol pre-shave um, with this Commissori style, I, I'm, I just got to keep the pre-shave. <laughs> um, Post-shave, you know, I'm, I'm Panag Bay Rum. Holy shit. This, like, again, I, I didn't think I would like Bay Rum, but this stuff right here, oh, man, it smells great. And just like my um, Witch Hazel, I added some menthol crystals to it, so we'll see how that goes. And 
Yeah, no kidding. I forgot to take the tape off. I tape up my liquids before I fly out so that it doesn't leak all over my, my luggage and stuff. Even though I do put it in a Ziploc bag, I, I don't like wasting good stuff, right? Um, all right. I guess we can go ahead and um, get started here. Let me go ahead and wet the whistle. Um, once again, puck was blooming. Uh, so I'll go ahead and... Sorry, guys, I like the smell. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my face. Okay, almost done here, guys. All right, I gotta wash my hands off. You know, again, I was watching the video last night, guys, and it's funny while you're shaving, there's some stuff you just don't notice. But uh, you know, I noticed last night that you can see my reflection in the uh, in the uh, shower door here. Good thing I don't shave naked, right? <laughs> I shave with shorts on, but. If, if I was naked, you guys could see, see me, right? <laughs> so, all right. Um, all right, let me go ahead and get loaded my brush here. Warm it up a little bit. I know you don't need to soak synthetic, but I like to keep it warm. Feels good on the face. All right. Now, like I said, I mean, I don't... PA soaps, you don't need to load them very long, right? I mean, let's see here. Look at already. Is that like 10 swirls? And look at that. Awesome. I always tend to overload these guys. But, uh, and, and man, you keep adding water and it takes it and it takes it and it takes it and it takes it. Um, guys, I think that's probably funny. What do you think? Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a lot. All right, let me clean up the puck a little bit here. Face is still, yes, the face is still wet. Oh shit, I dropped that. Oh, for later. All right. So, again, you know, just kind of paint it on. Oh man, my hair's getting in the way already. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to fill up the sink. Oh, God, this fucking little pimple right here. I don't know, I think it's a. Uh, I think it might have ended up being an ingrown hair and it just, the next day was all angry and pissed off at me. It's a little sore, but uh, yeah. I'll just have to keep an eye for it when I, maybe I just won't cover it with leather. All right, here we go. Paint some more water in here. Oh man, I think I got too much. I can never have too much. I'd rather have too much than too little. So again, I mean, the comments and the feedback I got from that first video was, it blew me away. I really appreciate it, everybody. I, I, I really do. And hopefully you'll stick with me. Oh man, yeah. Oh, the big rum sense is nice. I don't know if you can appreciate that, but look how thick that is. I mean, this is a pretty good brush for what it is. I think I got it for like, I think like six dollars or something like that. My wife got it for me for uh, for Father's Day last year. You know, I was only it's March to June, three months. It's only three months into it last year, you know, and I really wanted to get a good synthetic brush, and she was able to work with me and, and, and get me a little kid. I got the Parasso White Soap. 
in the little tub, you know. It's pretty good, pretty good stuff. But I, I later discovered the sandalwood that I like a lot more. I love sandalwood. I mentioned it last night or the other video. I love sandalwood. Um, I didn't like the, uh, I like the more woodsy sandalwoods. So like Taylor of Old Bond Street, I got a, uh, you know, Taylor of Old Bond Street, I'm, I'm still on the fence about on that one. I got a little sample too from Maggard's when I first started it. Uh, you know, it was probably just me, but guys, it, it smelled like Noxzema to me. I, I don't know what the deal was with it. But um, again, it's a sample. I don't know how old that sample was. I don't know how long it's been sitting around. You know, maybe it got off a little bit. If anybody has any suggestions on that or, you know, comments, you know, let me know. Because uh, it was I really wanted to like it. But I do have a tub of um, Tob's um, German Street. Man, when I first smelled that, I was like, is this what rich people smell like? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a nice sand. Weak. It's not very strong. You know, I was call that maybe like a three or something like that. Guys, I don't know what. I don't even know what a 10 smells like. To me, a 10 would be like, I can't smell. It's too strong. Too fucking strong. You know what I mean? So that Port-au-Prince last night, I would call that probably a good seven on the scale. It was, it was nice and potent. I liked it. All right. So almost done here. Where <laughs> we? Does it seem like I'm stalling a little bit? <laughs> Maybe I am a little bit. Oh well. Alright, look at that. That's some good stuff right there. And then we go ahead and Chris Madden, past couple of videos, he's been like, Oh, that soap tastes good. <laughs> Dude, cracking me up, man. <laughs> that soap, it tastes the way it smells. <laughs> oh, man, I would love to meet you in person. Yeah, oh, man, have a drink with you. Fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. So, before I thought, you know, oh, I gotta clean that pimple. So, I had thought about, you know, let me just kind of go down and start at the bottom, but you, you, you know what, I'll just start like you normally do. <laughs> All right. Round two, guys. Here we go. I'm already, oh shit, I'm 18 minutes into this already. All right. Hopefully you're sticking with me, people. All right. And uh, so one thing I noticed in the last video is I kind of went out of frame a little bit. I'll, I'll do my best to try to keep in the frame a little bit more, okay? All right. So I'm going to go like this. No stretch, huh? So yeah, you can, so you can see that, oh, if you can do dark. Oh, won't focus close, huh, guys? But there's a lot of little whiskers in there, and yeah, it's some long hairs, too. It's all right, I, I need a haircut, huh? My wife wants me to get my hair just a little bit longer. She thinks I look better with long hair. Happy wife, happy life. All right.
Can't take my eyes off the fucking mirror, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I look down at the camera. I'm like, oh shit. When I looked at the camera, look at right there. <laughs> Already, it's going a lot better. Oh shit, this is fun. I love this, guys. All right, no more fucking, no more fucking around, okay? Yeah, that's okay. I'm get, getting dry already. Hmm. It's okay. Let's see here. Uh oh. Tell something. So one thing they said on the uh, from a tip from the Shavet world was the mustache area tends to be a, a lot more tricky. Um, so I'm gonna think about whether if I want to attack that one or not. Okay. Oh, I did miss some spots here. It's okay. I got plenty of But already shave two is Ten times better? So I watched a video on uh, Rudd's, you know how he does his upstroke, I would guess. This would be the same concept. No? Yeah, maybe. Yep, I felt that fucking little neck again. Dry. But guys, I mean, this is a lot freaking better than the last time. I thought I should just use a brush right there, huh? I don't know.
Jugular is right there. Ah, shaking a little bit. But guys, I mean. Get here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'll try to swipe on the mustache again, guys. Guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This one driving me freaking nuts right here, guys. Oh man, I think I'll hold off on that one though. My skill's not for a second freaking try. <laughs> I'm impressed, guys. Uh, I, I'm just gonna warn you, I'm at 30 minutes already, so the video might bleep, okay? Nick, but I nicked that with my VE2. shape guys but man man it's so close I'm almost there huh. 
Okay, let me rinse off, okay? If you came here to see blood, guys, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I'm not such a bad though. Let's see. So, again, look right here. It's only one pass, right? You guys would, would agree that's one pass. So, my trouble spot. I mean, even with DE, I have a hard time right here, which I, I'll, pff, I'll take this. Right here in the bottom of my chin. Um, a little bit of blood right there. But cheeks, good. Dude, the stash. Dude, the stash is, it's on point. I mean, that's damn fine shape right there. The little soul patch, uh, yeah. It's quite a bit against the grain here. But yeah, I went down with the grain, so that one, not, not great, but that's a sensitive spot, right? Um, all right, um, I think uh, that'll be it for uh, the shave. Shave it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish the shave off with the. Um, drop it down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. And, oh, why did I fucking dry my face? I need that water, <laughs> idiot. I'm gonna finish the shave off with the, <laughs> the freaking uh, de. All right. So, you know, I didn't touch up on this with my, uh, on my last video, but normally on my second, third pass, I don't rework the lather. I just go ahead and paint it on. Um, PA, shit, right. look at that, crazy. PA soaps, I mean, God, you got gobs of lather. Look at that. And it needs more water. It really does. I mean, I mean, look at this. Beautiful, huh? Sheesh. There we go. Look at that. I should have did this before I started the freaking uh, shave that shave. Holy big balls. Well, next time. Learn something every shave, guys. You know, that's how you just get better and better and better. All right. Sorry guys, I'm at that 33 mark, but hey, it's my shave. I'll do what I like. So, um, I had mentioned last time that this razor, I'm not the only one that has this trouble, that sometimes it on, on like uh, areas of, of, of bends in the neck and stuff like that, that it's not as efficient in those places and you do need a more aggressive razor or a blade, a more sharp blade like a feather or a perma sharp or um in my case I, I love these gillette super stainless right but um there is a tip that i found um i want to say it was on the paa website douglas he written a little little tip about this to make this razor a lot better so if if you're struggling with this try this and hey my, my first freaking tip my second video I'm already, I'm already giving tips out but what you can do after tightening it down loosen it an rch okay um just a little bit and if if you look really close you will see as you loosen it the blade will lift up a little bit and increases the aggressiveness pretty freaking cool huh um like i said you just loosen it a little bit just just like a hair an rch you know you could just kind of go from there all right let me warm the blade up a little bit, and I'm gonna go into, since I already went with the grain, let me go ahead and do my cross grain. I don't have much hair on my cheeks though. This is awesome. Man, that shave is freaking cool. So normally in my shaves, 
I do two passes with the grain and then a cross grain and then I do what would be a clean up but it, maybe it could be considered two and a half passes but on my second across the grain I just go uh, ear to nose both sides I, I, I'm not very comfortable going like this and I don't really need it e even those times when you have a gray shave and you don't want it to end I, I'll still just do my typical stuff but in those cases I'll just fucking chase the dragon you know what I mean so oh man my hair's getting in the way again I do try to um, use my left hand as much as I can. You know, I'm by no means am I ambidextrous. However the hell you say that word. I'm not an English teacher. I don't swipe off that damn temple. Hey, those of you guys watching, um, if you got a tip on better ways for me to shave this part, um, please, I'm all for it. I have a hard time going cross grain here, so. Typically what I'll do is I'll go with the grain and then against it on this spot, but man, you know, like I said, it's a soft spot and ah, it just, sometimes it just doesn't cut it. No pun intended. Okay, maybe a little bit. So I do need good, efficient blades and all my razors to get that spot. Yeah, I don't know if anybody here is on the uh, Badger and Blade forum, but they have a, uh, shit, got it. They have a uh, longevity forum. Guys, I shit you not, this one guy got 128 shades off of a blade. You know, and the, the spirit of that thread it's not to see how far you can push your blades, right? It's it's the spirit is to see is to improve your shades to get the most comfort out of a out of a shade, right? The most comfort you can possibly get. And if, if as you learn better technique, your blades will last longer. Uh, I've only been going, I've only been de shaving for just over a year, right? And me, I've gotten. What's my best? I've gotten 15, still going. I got 20, 23 shaves off of a blade. Comfortable shaves. That's, that's the key, comfortable. Um, I don't do it very often. I'm not a liar, <laughs> you know, but, but please, if, 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 there's some great tips in that thread um, on, on on prepping lather and, and blade angle or razor angle on the face, uh, you know, but again, it's one of those things where if your whiskers are thick, your blades is just, just not going to last as long, right? I mean, so check it out. I've learned a lot from that thread. Okay, don't take my word for it. Let's see here. I'm almost done here. Uh, a little bit more. I don't want to whack off that damn mole or mole pimple. <laughs> I think that's probably good enough. Um. 
Just a second, okay? Not that cold today. Here was um, can't get that cold. Well, like I was trying to say, today was um, 90 degrees, but like 65 or 70 percent humidity. It did end up raining as well, so I, I don't like humid weather. I'm, I was originally born in Arizona. You know, they say it's a dry heat, 100 and fucking 115 fucking degrees, but but it's not a humid heat. But the, being a dry heat really does make a difference right but man this humidity just freaking kills me at times all right um post shave time um maybe i'll just go ahead and do the uh alum again like i said i haven't been using alum for the past mm, six months or so i haven't needed it but now i'm doing a sh new new shave method right Not bad. Little bit on my mustache. And then those areas where I nicked myself. But yeah, good. Not bad at all. Pretty good. Hold on. Let me stop this alum again. Wow, well, I spit. Sorry. You know, that was a, uh, where did I put my fucking towel? You know, sometimes you're watching uh, Ken, Ken Shane, or uh, Ken Shane BSing. That guy, I love watching him too. He's freaking hilarious. Um, at the beginning of the video, I had mentioned about me losing weight, right? Uh, but guys, I, I got to give props to, to Ken. I mean, I, you know, whenever, whenever I'm researching soaps and trying to figure out if I might like a soap or not, I go back to YouTube and I and I do a search for for different videos. And when I find people that I, I like to watch, like Ken and Chris and Chris Madden and Chris Bailey, you know, and and, and Rudd Shaves and and God, there's so many so many out there, right? But I I do like watching Ken's videos and um, his early days. I mean, he's lost half of his size, and I'm I go back to some of those videos and I'm just like, man, is that the same guy? Dude, Ken, if, if, if you ever watch this, dude, I, mad props to you, man. I mean, you, you've you done uh, you've done an amazing job, all right? It's an inspiration to a lot of people. Uh, keep it up. Keep it up. I know you're out there dating right now, but, dude, whatever you're doing, keep it up. Um, it's working for you. And mad props, dude. Mad props. All right, Witch Hazel. A little bit of menthol. If you're curious, you can buy menthol crystals on Amazon. Crush them up, put put them in there. But um, yeah, I, I noticed that when when the weather gets cold, and in my witch hazel, the the crystals will kind of reform. So I'm starting to look into ways of making them liquefied or whatever. You know. Um, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go after my bay rum. I have to shave here, but I put this damn tape on it. There it goes. Oh, maybe. Wait, I gotta. No, I, I, I can't. I can't use my freaking blade on this. <laughs> it's tempting, though, man. It's freaking tempting. But that's for the face, not tape. All right. Let's see. Oh man, shoot. Ouch. Almost. Bear with me, people here. Oh, I can feel the menthol on the uh, from the witch hazel. Oh, it's feeling good. There it goes. That's a that's the sound you want to hear, right, guys? Shake it up. Probably don't have to, but I'd like to. Ooh, that's a lot. No steam. 
little freaking spoon. Nice. I can feel the menthol. Oh, bay rum and menthol? Genius. Genius. Lay on that. All right. You know, you gotta go with the Nivea post shave. Cooling. Ooh, I can feel the menthol. Oh man, look at this thing. Oh, I hit this with the pen afterwards. Hopefully not as much as last time. Yeah, a little bit right there, right? Should work. There we go. Really good set. Nice. All right, everybody. So just to let you know, I don't know when I'll be able to do my next video. Uh, the reason is my bathroom at home, I live in an apartment, it's a smaller apartment, and the the bathroom's got one of those fucking fans, and it's loud as shit, and it doesn't have the separate switch. So I, it's loud, you know, I don't, if I do a video, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me. Um, if somebody has any tips on that, let me know, all right? Um, but I may end up doing an unboxing uh, video, so you can look forward to that, <laughs> right? But um, um, I'll do my best to try to get a shape video in, all right? Um, hey guys, thanks for hanging in there. This video is over 45 minutes. Um, thanks for hanging in. Uh, until next time, fellas, everybody, you guys have a great day, all right? And thanks again for all the feedback on the first video. Uh, I, I just really want to... I, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, Chris Madden, Ken, uh, all you guys. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Cheers, everybody. You guys have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.